Hey, Pastor Brian here from Maple Hill Baptist Church, Kansas City, Kansas. I uh, just want to make a short video on uh, the question of are you 100% sure if you died today that you would go to heaven? So in conjunction with our website, uh, if you're visiting us online, uh, I just want to invite you to come visit us in person. It's a lot different when you're here in person, and there's something to be said about the fellowship of uh, an in-person, uh, you know, visiting believer. So I invite you to come out. But, uh, you know, so say you're not 100% sure that you go to heaven. The first thing I direct your attention to is Romans 3.23. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's really important because a lot of times people think that they can do something to earn God's favor. You can't do anything to earn God's righteousness. Isaiah 64, 6 says, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as a filthy rag. We all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. You're not righteous. I'm not righteous. We don't have righteousness in and of ourselves. We need God's righteousness uh, in what Christ did on the cross. And then uh, we see in Romans 5, 8 that God provided a way. God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And then in Romans 6, 23, we see that you get paid. You get paid for what you do in life. And Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So there's some good pay and there's some not so good pay we need to pay attention to. And then, finally, you need to have faith. If you want to get saved, you need to believe and have faith. Romans 10, 9-13 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the Scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There you go. And then uh, I like what uh, John 3.3 3 says, Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, and he says, uh, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So you as a person... You must be born again. And John 3.16 is a famous verse. If you don't know any verse, you ought to know this verse. John 3.16-17 through 17 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. And then after you believe, say you believe, you call on the name of the Lord, what's the next step? Well, the Bible says you need to obey in a baptism. You need to obediently submit yourself to baptism in the Lord. Um, Acts 8, 36 through 38 says, is a famous verse on the Ethiopian eunuch when Philip is coming alongside the chariot and he asks him what he's reading and if he understands it. He's reading out of the book of Isaiah. It says, And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and, be, and he baptized him. So there's the first step after faith is to be baptized. Baptism doesn't save you. It's not a magic trick. It doesn't do anything special. It is a symbol of you identifying with the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. You, yourself, are identifying with Christ and what he did. When he died on that cross for your sins and mine, you are being baptized down into the water, representing the death, the burial, and you're coming back out of that water, representing the resurrection, as Jesus resurrected, to new life. And then I want to turn your attention to 2 Corinthians 5.15. You know, um, after we get saved, we need to stop living selfishly. You know, a lot of people continue living selfishly. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that uh, after you get saved that uh, you can do whatever you want. No, we need to live for the Lord. We need to stop living for the flesh. We need to stop living after the world. We need to live unto God. So uh, for 2 Corinthians 5.15 says, And that he died for all, that they which shall live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. So you need to live for Christ. 
Stop living selfishly and serve Christ who died for you. And finally, I'll leave you with a couple of verses out of Revelation. Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. That's Jesus talking. Jesus is knocking at the door. And he says, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. So do you believe that promise? I, I think that you really need to take the heed that Jesus is knocking on that door. And today is the day of salvation. Don't delay because you don't know how many hours, how many days you might have. Today might be your last, God forbid. But hey, if it is and you put your faith in Christ, uh, by faith you will be in heaven uh, on the other side of that. And then the last final verse I want to leave you with is uh, Revelation 20, verse 15, uh, 14 and 15. Uh, you know, everyone dies once. So I implore you, don't die and don't suffer the second death. This verse in Revelation 20, verse 14 says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So don't let that be you. Don't waste your life living for yourself and end up in the second death. We all die once. Don't suffer the second death. So hey, I hope this message blessed you. I hope you... Uh, we're saved as a result of it. If you were saved, would you leave me a message? Would you share that with somebody? Would you tell somebody? And would you obey in baptism? Hey, we want to hear from you. If you're able to write or to call or to uh, send a message, let us know how this uh, gospel message saved you and what God's doing in your life. Love you. God bless.